Welcome to JavaScript in less than five minutes. I'm Juan Lizarazo. And I'm Jared Potter. And today we're going to be talking about the difference between pass by value and pass by reference. So in JavaScript, which data types are passed by value? The pass by value data types are going to be all primitives, which includes the Boolean, number, big int, string, null, undefined, and symbol. So what exactly is pass by value? So I'm going to go ahead and show an example. I'm going to create a let student one, and I'm going to assign it to the primitive value of a string of Jared. And then I'm going to create a second variable of student two, and I'm going to assign it the value of student one. Now, because these are primitives, the value from student one is copied into the value of student two. So this means that if I go ahead and change student two to be one, these are now going to be, well, they are independent variables that hold different values that don't affect each other. So which data types are passed by reference? The pass by reference data types are going to be an object. And it's also important to remember that arrays are also objects in JavaScript and therefore are also by reference. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate this student one variable, but this time I'm going to go ahead and make it an object with these curly brackets. I'm going to go ahead and assign a name variable inside of Jared. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another variable, student two, and I'm going to assign it this student one. Now what's important about references is that both of these variables are holding a reference to the same object in memory. Therefore, if we affect one variable, one reference to the object, it will affect the other one. So right now, if we look at student one and student two, they have the same value. But if we go ahead and say student two dot name and change it to one, we're going to notice the student one has also been changed because again, they're pointing to the same object in memory. So what happens when we pass by value to a function? It's a great question. So I'm going to go ahead and create another variable called age, and I'm going to initialize it to 17. And then I'm going to go ahead and define a new function called birthday. And it's going to take in this age parameter. And inside of here, we're going to call age plus plus, which just increments the age value by one. And then I'm going to go ahead and call console.log and print out whatever that value is. So if I now call birthday and pass in the age, it's going to say 18. However, if I just go ahead and access the age variable that's still in our local state, it's still 17. And this is because the value, when it gets passed to this function, is copied to the function, and we increment that copy to the by one and then print it out. The original version never changes. Last question. What about passing by reference to a function? Yeah, let's go ahead and create another variable called person. And this is going to be an object. And we're going to set an age on this object to 17. We're going to redefine this birthday function to instead take in a person object. And then inside of here, we're going to call person.age++. And then we're going to call that same console.log person.age. And then we're going to go ahead and call this function and pass in that person. Now we notice that if we type it once, it's going to increment it by one. But if we continue to do so, it's going to continue to increment it. And if we also call person.age, we notice that it changed. When we are passing objects to a function, the reference is passed in. So any modifications to the object inside that function will be modified outside of that function. Thank you, Jared.